You're listening to the Overcoming Daily Podcast with Anna Johnson of sacredlifecoaching.com. These things I have spoken to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you'll have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Shalom. Welcome to episode 36 of Overcoming Daily with Anna Johnson. My name is Anna Johnson and I am your Overcomer Coach. Today's Overcomer tidbit is this. The Overcomer goes where God has called them. This morning in my quiet time alone with the Father, I was reminded of all the places that he has called me to go. And he has called me to a lot of places. As a matter of fact, I was called to go from Illinois to North Carolina, then from North Carolina to West Texas, and then from West Texas to East Texas. Now, each one of these callings are quite a long distance stretch, meaning as far as location and drive. A matter of fact, just the drive from West Texas to East Texas took me over six hours to get there. But he's not only called me to go places physically, like from state to state or from one location to another, but he's also called me to go places spiritually. I do believe that we are all called to go and do something. Matter of fact, we're all called to follow Messiah, to go the places that God has called us to go. So this is not something just specifically for Anna Johnson, but this is something for all of the children of God. And a matter of fact, it is a call for all of humanity to return to God and to do the things that he has called them to do. This reminds me of Messiah and his ministry and how he called his disciples to leave what they were doing and follow him. Now, that's quite a stretch. That is quite a stretch. And his disciples were blessed, meaning they got to walk with him and learn from him. And the power of the Holy Spirit fell upon them because they followed Messiah. They were obedient to the call. Let me say that one more time. They were obedient to the call. Is there something that God has been calling you to do? and you have delayed in responding to that call, or you've had fear and have not responded to that call? Has there been doubt and you've not responded to that call? The call may be physical, but it is almost always spiritual because God is spirit. So is there something that God has been calling you to do? Now that calling may be a physical act, or it could simply be a spiritual act, or it could be both. For myself, what I've discovered is that often, almost always, the call is spiritual and physical. The two are connected. There are some basic callings. I mean, we all are called to put away sin. And some of us, unfortunately, have become too accustomed, too acquainted, too attached to our sin. Now, that sin could be addiction, it could be a relationship, it could be a a habit, which is addiction as well. It could be a mindset. Many of us are called to let go of some things that are actually hindering us from going places spiritually. And then there are those things that we are called to release and let go of mentally, emotionally, and spiritually so that we can do the work of God in our lives and in the lives of others. We may need to release unforgiveness, bitterness, resentment, fear, doubt, uh, jealousy, carnal things, carnal things. We may be called to release these things for the sake of the kingdom and for the call to follow God where he has called us to go. We are called to be the tool of God. Yet many of us don't want to be a tool. We want to be the operator of the tool. 
How can we ever expect to overcome if we do not allow ourselves to be the tool of God, that God would use us as an instrument for his glory? And in order to do that, we need faith. We need humility. We need to submit to whatever calling God has called us to do. Oh, don't get me wrong. Responding to a calling is not easy. It's not always easy, but it's still required. We see Messiah who was called to bear the sins of humanity and to overcome the power of sin and death. And it was not an easy task. And yet he responded to the call. And it's not enough just to go and respond to a call physically. Like we have to respond to the call spiritually as well. We look at Israel who responded to the call physically. They left Egypt in search of the promised land. And so they responded physically, like they went out of Egypt, they did what that what was required, they were in the wilderness. Uh, however, spiritually, they were not there. And because they were not there, meaning their mindset, their interaction with God, the, their relationship with God, and they were unable to physically go the distance and they died in that wilderness. Now, if God has called you to go somewhere, we just need to submit to him. We need to look to him. We need to obey him. We need to put away our own understanding. We need to release everything that goes against what he's calling us to do. We simply need to ask him, ask him to be our teacher and our father and our guide and, and that he would see us through each and every one of the obstacles along the way. Even Messiah prayed in the garden that evening Prior to his crucifixion, he cried out to his father asking for, for support and for help and for guidance and for a way. And yet many children of God today do not demonstrate the same behavior that we see of Messiah in that garden. When we're getting ready to go through some really challenging times, we can see them coming. We often just respond in the flesh and fail to pray and reach out to our Abba, our Father. Many of the children of Israel, even though they were delivered from Pharaoh and from the Egyptians and from the bondage of Egypt, they did not fully overcome. And the reason why they did not fully overcome is because they did not release, they did not release the, the things of Egypt. They didn't Go, they didn't respond to the calling. They were called to trust God, Yahweh, their Elohim. They were called to put their confidence in him and look to him and to be obedient. And they, even though they were out of Egypt, they were still in bondage because they, they took part of Egypt with them. I personally have seen God work in mighty ways in my life simply by responding to a call. I simply responded to a call and it was radical faith, um, at least from America, from American perspective, it was radical faith um, each and every time, like just blind faith, trusting him and laying aside my own understanding and even my own knowledge to take up, just take up what he has given me and um, trusting him to follow him. So let's just take a moment. Is there any area that you are not overcoming in? Is there any area that you've been called to, something you've been called to do, somewhere you've been called to go, and have you failed to go there? And if you're not certain, take a moment to pause and pray and ask God, God, have you called me somewhere? Where is it that you're calling me? What is it that you're calling me to do? He may be calling you to release something, he may be calling you to go somewhere. He may be calling you into the deep to go a little bit deeper in study or in fellowship with him or in faith. We all have a calling. We've all been called to go somewhere and to do something. And the calling is not just a one-time calling, but I'm learning that I'm being called continually in different areas, in mindset, in my relationship with him, uh, and in my interaction with others. 
Today's focal point in scripture is Psalm chapter 81, verses 11 through 16. And it reads, But my people did not listen to my voice, and Israel would not submit to me. So I gave them over to their own stubborn heart to walk in their own counsels. Oh, if my people had listened to me, Israel would walk in my ways. I would subdue their enemies at once and turn my hand against their adversaries. Those who hate Yahweh would cringe before him and their time be forever. He would feed them with the finest of wheat and with honey from the rock I would satisfy you. Hallelujah. God desires that his people would listen to him, that they would learn his ways, that they would not only learn, but walk in his ways. And he would cause our enemies, he would cause us to prevail over our enemies, that our enemies would not be able to consume us or overtake us. And our enemies, we scripture tells us that we do not only wrestle with flesh and blood, but with principalities and, and rulers in dark places. We are dealing with demonic activity at times working in our life, oppression working in our lives. So I would encourage you to take a moment and ask yourself, Am I going where God has called me to go? What a promise we have that he would feed us with the finest of wheat and with honey from the rock, he would satisfy us. Hallelujah. He just desires for us to go. So today's tidbit is the overcomer goes where God has called them. I pray that you will go where he has called you. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for each and every listener that's listening to this podcast. I pray, Father, that they will be touched by what has been shared today, Father, that every good seed planted here would produce good fruit for your kingdom, for your glory. And Father, we repent. We repent for every time we have been stubborn in our hearts, Father, or for every time we have lacked understanding and have failed to go where you have called us. Father, may we turn it around for your glory. May we follow the ancient path. May we go the ways that you have called us to go. And may we truly taste, taste and savor what is freedom, what is good, what is life. Father, you are all of these things and so much more. In the mighty name of Yeshua, I pray for each and every one of the listeners and myself. To you be the glory. Hallelujah. This concludes our episode for today. I hope that you will go where God has called you to go. Until next time, have an overcomer day. I am praying and cheering for you. Shalom. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Overcoming Daily with Anna Johnson. Tune in again next time where Anna will continue to give you tips for overcoming daily. overcoming daily. And to stay updated, make sure to subscribe to the podcast. You are an overcomer. You're called to overcome. And if you found value in this episode, please share it on social. Share it on social. Sign up for a free coaching session free coaching. with Anna Johnson, Anna Johnson at sacredlifecoaching.com. Sacredlifecoaching.com. Until next time, have an overcomer day. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you'll have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world.